Hello and welcome to a new series and on this one we're going to see what's the difference between the parting and the clump brush. So let's move to the parting brush. Contrary to the clump brush this one it's going to actually remove the effect and it's going to move one curve towards the sides. So think of the sphere of the brush as moving force that parts away every strand of hair. The nice thing is that this one is actually projected on the skin and travels across. So contrary to the clump, which is a static brush that you just project once, this one here can be projected while traveling. And if we remove the skull points, you can see that the shape is a little bit more even and then we can just keep going till we clean the shapes that we don't want. The parting effect is quite a strong effect and it's really, really hard to get. There are different techniques to get them, but once you actually succeed at having your parting correctly, it adds a really nice looking groom or a really nice looking effect to your grooms. So it's good to have control and to know when and how at parting. Also, remember that you will have these odd hairs and the easiest way to clean them up is just selecting them as a group. Oop, sorry, uh, here and here. And let's say that this one has way more. And we hit enter. And now the only ones that we're going to affect are that ones. So we can just add them to one of the areas that we want to have them there. So that's basically just cleaning up the parting that we just did. If I add school points, I will be able to move from the root. So remember that the skull points are going to give you control over those areas. And this is basically how you should use the parting brush. Also remember that the parting brush has the bend and the randomize if you want to randomize the attributes that are inside of the parting brush. Uh, let me just delete this. So the attributes are going to get randomized and it's not going to be that even. You cannot do it and that's basically how the parting works. Contrary to the clump, that the clump projects on a screen and you cannot move it across, but but this is something good to know. If you want to get this effect as a clump, you can actually clump from the tip to the bottom. And if you look at the sides, you will basically get a really similar effect. Let me try with the blend. Uh, short hair, it's better than long hair for these effects. If I try to do this and I try to do this, you can see that the effect of the parting and the effect of the clump it's quite similar. The difference here is that you are projecting towards a point and on this one you're driving towards the surface which is quite different at the end because this one is just generating the attraction force and this one is generating and repelling force. But the clump itself it's a stationary, a stationary brush not as the parting so that's the biggest difference that you will see here and at the end the effect is quite interesting and then you have these really nice partings on your groom that have and add a really nice effect at the end following certain reference and normally this is a really attractive effect to add on short fur or long fur depending of the area for example on the cats it's really common to see this type of stripes and this is one way to get them on the curve themselves.